Oh really? K West. Yeah, he owned that station. He was at uh, he was at uh, at K I K K, wasn't it? No, it was Kicker. Yeah, it was Kicking. Kicking. No, it was in Houston. Oh, in Houston. Yeah, that was Kick. Oh really? Yeah, he was at Kick for he was the man in the music business for thirty years. Oh really? And then he quit to manage me and took all my money. <laughs> He's still taking all of it. Is, is that a testimonial? <laughs> That's a testimonial. <laughs> yeah, I'm well, glad to see somebody can use it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we want to thank you for coming on our show. We have the Duke and Cat Show here in Tucson. It's a right. local channel, but we're trying to branch out and. By having people like you on, that's going to help us. You know, I don't know, man. It might shut you down. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hang around Delaney, and you know, I grew <laughs> yeah. up with him, so that might happen. <laughs> well, you ain't grow up yet if you was hanging around with him. <laughs> no, I, I play. Can attest. <laughs> I can attest to that. <laughs> We're still playing tennis. <laughs> you know, it's funny because me and Delaney have been together for a long time, a lot of years. Uh -huh. He's been playing guitar and being road manager for me. And he is the most, probably, most juvenile man I've ever met other than myself and I think that's why we get along so well but he takes care of business real good and he's a great guitar player yes he is that's what I was telling him because he used to play with this band called the Lariat yeah when we were in, mm. and I was doing radio and he was doing the band thing so now it is what 25 years later and here we are and you know, finally, it's so weird to see this. Yeah. He finally got smart and started working for somebody, you know, instead of paying the bills himself. <laughs> now he gets paid. Because he told us that, that, uh, you know, you can be counted on to bring home the bacon. Yeah, that's that's, that's that. all I'm about, man. That's right. <laughs> I bring home the bacon, the beef, the eggs, and the butter, and the milk, and everything else on a good night. Right. So, so how is how's the Outlaw album coming? It's been out since June, right? Uh, you know, I think we sold like three or four hundred of them so far. I think. I think we got one of them. Ain't we're working on cardboard. <laughs> we'll be cardboard status before long, and I'll I'll send you one. <laughs> No, we were listening to it today. It sounds fantastic. Thank you, we thank you. I'm album. proud of it. I enjoyed making that album. You know, I'm, a lot of people ask me a lot of times why why I record so many cover songs. You know, it's just that you know I, I kind of like to go back and find songs and and sing stuff that I grew up singing and and record them because I think uh, a great song is going to last forever. Oh, yeah. And I don't think they need to be just laying around. You know? Thank you. Thank and they can be re-recorded again and again and um, brought back to life. You know, a lot of people, a lot of young kids that I've met, you know, as, as young as 10 or 12 years old, told me they they love those old songs. They didn't even know they were old. They thought I wrote them all. You know? <laughs> like Freedom to Stay and Black Rose and things like that on the CD. And So I kind of feel like I might be you know, adding life to to these old songs and, and what these guys came before us did, you know, and carrying it on. Well, I love, I mean, I go sing karaoke all the time, and I bring out old. <laughs> I can see that. Oh, man, my favorite is Devil Went Down to Georgia, you know. <laughs> so all these old classic songs I used to play at KIUN, and I love old country. Mm -hmm. I really do. I like to listen to it. So there's, I'm glad that yeah. somebody's bringing it back, you know, like you said. Well, there's nothing better than them old songs. They just don't write them like they used That's to. That's right. You could listen to radio nowadays and you'll hear all these great big old giant huge songs, you know, and they might sell 10 million records, but are they going to be around in 30, 40 years? Right. I doubt it, very seriously. And a lot of these old songs like Sunday Morning Coming Down, you know, they're going to be around forever. It's part of history. Yes. Yes. So, do you want to ask Mr. Chestnut? I, I do, and I, you know, I think you just really answered my question because uh, we, were, we were reading your bio today in, in preparation, knowing that we were going to interview you, and uh, it said you're a neo-traditionalist, you know, that's how they define your music, and so I said to Duke, what is that? And I, I think you just told us, you know, it, it's, it's those great old songs, but, you know, giving them your spin, you know, the, the, moder the modern twist, but keeping those great songs alive. So. Well, a song is, you know, a great song is like a novel, you know, it doesn't matter how many times you read it or hear it, it's going to say the same thing, it's just different interpretation, you know, and so uh, 
songs are going to be around forever, and um, I'm a singer, and I'm going to sing them. <laughs> so hopefully, though, it, this year we'll be, this new year, we'll be going in and recording some brand new songs that we've been working on. And um, you know me, I'm always going to drag some old George Jones or Hank Williams or Merle Haggard song out, or Waylon song. I've, I just can't help it. There's so many great things but, that are stuck back in my mind that I've been listening to all my life, and, and even today. You know, with the new technology we have now, I, I hear songs by Johnny Cash and, and Waylon that I've never heard before mm -hmm. all these years later. And so mm -hmm. it's just always exciting. And, and anything I can do to help bring that out, let somebody else hear it that might not listen to it otherwise, you know, it's a great thing. Well, it's good to see another Texas boy around. And Keeping the tradition well, Pecos is not actually considered Texas. Right? Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> here we go. I live on the green side of Texas. <laughs> I know it is pretty My browner. Side of Texas is wet and green all the time. <laughs> you live in the desert, man. <laughs> the flat desert. Well, That's hey, why I'm here in Tucson. And you're over in Tucson now, so what's the difference? It's just a sign. We got a couple of mountains move. around here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, we appreciate it. I mean, I know you got a lot of people to talk to and. Hopefully next time you come down here, we'll be able to sit down in our studio and right. reminisce. Hope so. So we Good appreciate to see you. it. Hey, have a great concert. We'll do our best. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>